fettuccine alfredo so far everyone has been showing their own specific way that they like to do it well today i'm throwing my head into the ring and i'm gonna show you how i do fettuccine alfredo my way What's up everyone, Dion with Ottawa Cravens and today we back with another simple video. We're just making good old classic chicken alfredo, chicken fettuccine alfredo. A dish that pretty much everyone has been making their own way, but I'm gonna show y'all the way that I make it, the way that I learn in restaurants and the way that I put it together myself, which is very unique and it stands out above the others. And to start prepping our chicken breast, we're just gonna start cutting the chicken breast in half what this is doing is known as butterflying. You're simply just opening it up. And now, as you can see, you can either completely use this as one whole thing, but instead we're gonna take it, split it right down the middle. And now you have a portion that's good enough for one serving of Alfredo pasta. To pound out chicken breasts, or honestly any piece of meat that's trying to pound out to make it larger and spread out more, you gotta first put down some plastic wrap and this is what we do in restaurants. Pretty much, if you take a whole piece of chicken breast and you try to cook that to put on top of a pasta or something, it takes so long for that to cook. And also, that uses up so much money and product and everything that this is how you do it. So, you coat in plastic wrap and you can take a skillet or a hammer, whichever one you get, and all you do is just <laughs> pound it flat. Uh, and with our meat pounded and beat good, this is how the chicken is gonna look. It's spread out, it's still thick, it still has a thickness to it, but it's spread out. This is how a lot of restaurants be making it look like the chicken portions are so big on our Fredo plates. To season it, we're just gonna take some extra virgin olive oil, plenty of salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, some of this Weber's roasted garlic seasoning, and just give that a good mix in. And once all seasoned, this is how your chicken is supposed to look. Season, we season our food around here. We let these ancestors guide us. But now let's go ahead and cook our chicken. Now in a skillet, heat it up with some oil. We're gonna lay down our chicken breast. That's what you wanna hear when it touch down that sizzling. And we're gonna cook these until they are both brown on each side. And once cooked on one side, flip it over. It has a nice crust on it. Now we're gonna let the other side brown. And once both sides are brown, the secret that we would do in restaurants, you could finish it in the pan to cook them all the way through, but believe it or not, that actually somewhat dries them out. If you want your chicken breast to stay super juicy and super moist, you brown them on both sides and then you finish them in the oven. When the chicken comes out the oven, it's gonna look nice and cooked through just like this. Now we sit this to the side and let them rest for a second. In a large pot, fill it about three quarters of the way through with water and bring it to a rolling boil. But you also gotta remember, salt your water, please. Like salt it, like salt that water. And also a common myth that's gonna get started when it comes to boiling a uh, pasta, you don't have to add an oil to the water to help keep it from separating. If you follow the actual instructions and you don't let the pasta go for forever in a day, and you actually take time attending to the pasta, the pasta does not stick. You don't have to add oil. Adding oil doesn't really actually do anything. With the water boiling, let's drop in our pasta. We are using fettuccine noodles. So I'm gonna drop that in. Immediately using a pair of tongs, start turning them. This is a secret, because most people, they'll just drop in the pasta noodles and that's it, they, they just drop them in. When you first put in the noodles, you have to move them around. This is how they keep from sticking. And just cook the noodles following the package instructions and you should be fine. Or you can cook them to al dente if you know how to catch them al dente. And if you don't know what al dente means, that pretty much means you're cooking the noodles to about 75, 85% through. And you're cooking them to where they're done, but they still have a little bite to them. And you do that because most noodles finish cooking in the sauce that you put them in. Once the noodles are all cooked perfectly, this is how they are going to look. Now drain your noodles and set them to the side. Take a cup. Reserve some of this pasta water is going to be essential. So in the skillet, we're going to take some butter, drop that in, get some fresh garlic, and let that cook until it becomes aromatic. But once fragrant and they've been browned good, we're going to add in our cream. Yes, heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream is a very good emulsifier and thickens up very good. Just going to give this a stir 
and let the heavy whipping cream start to simmer and then that's when we're going to start adding in all of the seasonings and the parmesan and the other special ingredients and something that i learned working in multiple restaurants i saw people was using chicken bouillon the chicken base and mixing it in into the alfredo sauce and adding in chardonnay so add in a little chardonnay you let that cook down you let the alcohol cook up out of it but i promise you it leaves an excellent flavor behind salt and pepper some of this roasted garlic and herb seasoning a little smoked paprika now let's add in the parmesan shredded parmesan and lastly another secret cheese that you can buy in grocery stores or order online called borzen borzen cheese i had executive chefs and also fellow line cooks put me on to this in certain restaurants when i started working seeing them make alfredo a borzen cheese this is a game changer when it comes to alfredo sauces add it in now add in your pasta and start giving that a good mix remember that pasta water i told you about so now you can pour in some of it or add it in as you need to because it's pretty much starch water and it helps thicken up everything and creates even more of a beautiful sauce because the pasta will start absorbing up all of the uh, alfredo sauce and so if you want to keep it nice and moist this is what you do once this all came together this is how it's going to look nice glossy good alfredo noodles just fettuccine alfredo done good my way let me give y'all one more just good look of it and as you can see it's thickening up even more that's the other thing most people don't know about pasta since it's all a starch cooking together the cream the pasta the pasta water all of it is a starch that just thickens up everything now everything has just came together so beautifully you have to always trust the process you can never be afraid always trust the process and now we have this beautiful fettuccine alfredo yes the sauce and noodles is all holding together so perfectly as we put this inside the bowl we got our beautiful piece of chicken right here we're just going to start cutting it we're cutting it on the bias so it can chop up beautifully and perfectly slice through yeah. oh that chicken is so juicy just going to take it beautifully place it on top just like that now let's give it some edible food glitter as my friends like to call it but parsley and there you have it y'all one bowl of chicken alfredo done the 91 cravings way how does it look does that look beautiful to you that chicken breast on top all nice juicy seasoned and cooked that creamy alfredo that's beneath it Hoo-wee! I'm about to make a name for myself here. Let's go ahead and dig into it. All right, everyone, here we are at the end of the video, and the chicken alfredo is just, see, look, it's even sitting in the plate just oh so beautifully. All right, but now let's go ahead and try out the chicken alfredo the 901 Cravings way. Hold on. Okay, okay, y'all, that's enough doing y'all like that. Ooh, just look at that. Got that chicken back there. That creamy fettuccine alfredo just coated the noodles oh so beautifully. Bottoms up. Uh. Mm. Woo, that was an explosion of flavor just busting in your mouth. Wait, but everything has came together so beautifully. The fettuccine noodles are coated beautifully in that alfredo sauce. You can taste the layers of flavor down from the better than bouillon chicken base to the Chardonnay that cooked down perfectly within the sauce, to the boars and cheese, then the chicken itself that is extremely seasoned, extremely juicy on top of that. Even though this might be another Alfredo meal that's gonna hit the uh, internet, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed my recipe. Y'all comment down below and let me know how do y'all usually make Alfredo? Do you do a lot of the ingredients that I use or are you just a quick, simple, to the point type of Alfredo maker, which that is a thing. What type of noodles do you like using to make your Alfredo? Do you like using fettuccine, penne, bow tie? Like, it all just depends. Y'all comment down below, and like, seriously, let me know what y'all like to do when it comes to making Alfredo. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, and I love you all.